The Narithya Gram Dance Ensemble is recognized internationally as one of India's foremost performing arts companies and it has also helped raise the profile of a less familiar classical dance style. It was a rare privilege to meet the dancers and an even greater one for me to see them perform. The dancers allow nothing to disturb their physical and mental preparation for each performance. So Zaki joined artistic director Surupa Sen on the floor. I have been absolutely mesmerized by Shrupa Sen's warm-up and I haven't even seen her dance yet. Please can you tell us about the Narithya Gram Dance Ensemble? Uh, we are a dance ensemble that comes from southern India. We live in a very special community called a dance village outside of the city of Bangalore. And we dedicated our lives to perfecting one chosen form of classical dance. In our case, it's Odyssey. We believe that dance has to be practiced not just as a technique that you can go two hours a week to learn, but it has to be lived and um, lived in a way that you can imbibe the spirit of the form through the teacher. Odissi uh, comes from Orissa and it's a 2000 year old dance tradition. It began as a temple dance tradition where young women danced to invoke the presence of the deity inside the temple. So, so it was part of the ritual that was practiced. Now the dancer considers of course the proscenium stage to be her place of worship and the audience becomes her uh, co-worshippers in the journey that hopefully leads to uh, the infinite, a universal something bigger than all of us. The dance ensemble has earned a formidable reputation in India and internationally by performing faithful reproductions of ancient dances. Also, classic Odissi traditions have been adapted to the contemporary context by Surupa and her fellow dancer Bijayani Satpati. <laughs> Bijoyani is my muse in all of my choreography. Without her, I do believe I would not have been complete. The first time we met, we were, that was 22 years ago, we instantly formed a, a very amazing kind of a dynamic when we perform together. It's very difficult to find someone who dances with you in a way that you breathe together. And I think that it is probably once in a lifetime you can find that sort of relationship with another artist. Bijani Satpati has worked with Surupa in expanding the dance vocabulary of Odissi and has also developed a scientific body training program to help dancers enhance their performance, avoid injuries and increase their lifespan as performers. Bijani Satpati has been a part of the company for over two decades. What sets Odissi apart from other classical dance forms? How it is different from other dance forms is in the pattern it creates in space and in form. There is a position called three bhangi, three bend position. So the body falls into, with a bend at the neck, a bend at the waist and a bend at the knee. It falls into a Z or S-like form and the pattern we create in space is the infinite curve. So it's continuously moving, every movement of every part of our body. So if it's an eye movement, I, I never go straight out, it will be curved out and curved in, whereas other dance forms create linear lines perhaps or complete circles. Odissi evokes the static motifs of Orissa temple sculpture while adding a sensuous element. The style is characterized by stances, the most basic of which symbolize the Lord Jagannath. When the ensemble made its debut in New York in 1996, it was hailed as one of the most luminous dance events of the year. Since then, Nithyagram has performed at events and venues across the world, earning accolades wherever they went. We are just so grateful to have a, 
have a production of this quality and of this excellence as part of our festival. Regardless of what um, creed color you are, you'll absolutely understand the production. This definitely reaches a universal audience because it's all about acting, it's all about expressions. It's basically, you know, even without talking, we portray the whole emotion. Odissi is thought to be the oldest form of Indian classical dance and the Nithyagram Dance Ensemble deserves a large share of the credit for its rebirth.